The sweet aroma of a flower, a pleasure made possible by our sense of smell, which is also one of our least used senses. That's why scientists were late to catch on that an estimated 80% of people who present no obvious symptoms of coronavirus, in fact, have partial or total anosmia. Many of them have experienced just anosmia, which is olfaction, lo loss of olfaction, of the olfactive capacity. No other symptom, no cough, no uh, fever, just anosmia. A fever can be easily detected with a thermometer or thermographic camera, but not the loss of smell, which is highly subjective. Now the School of Engineering and Center of Aroma and Taste at Chile's Catholic University have developed an objective test to measure it. The kit consists of six extremely familiar aromas. A person is asked to identify three. You can fail the test and not be infected, but you can't pass if you are, says Professor Aosin. Uh, and then you can isolate the person that shows some of the uh, some olfactive dysfunction and corroborate if this person has or hasn't the uh, uh, COVID-19. We went to try it out. So I've always prided myself on having a good sense of smell, but now we're going to see. Numero dos. All correct. So I passed the test, and uh, <laughs> thank God. And the amazing thing about this is that it's not only very, very quick, it's extremely inexpensive, about 30 cents per test, which means that it's a, a very viable alternative in countries that can't afford widespread testing with the, uh, with the classic COVID-19 examinations. A pilot program is starting this week, but already there's widespread interest in using the kit in areas where there's a high probability of infections. In industries that can't stop, for example, like food production in mines or hospitals, they can test them frequently, and if they don't pass, send them to take the traditional test to confirm. Indeed, just like having a high temperature does not mean that you have COVID-19, losing your sense of smell isn't proof of infection. But the smell test does provide a new early warning system to help detect those who are spreading the disease without even knowing it. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.